the uh, uh, basic uh, uh, points in it, uh, as the committee sees the matter, are that we increase the authority, uh, direction, and control of the Secretary of Defense uh, over all uh, elements of the Department of Defense at all levels. In addition to that, uh, uh, we streamline the military establishment. We eliminate, uh, depending upon how you count it, between 20 uh, to 23 of the present secretariats. And uh, perhaps most important of all, uh, we, uh, we uh, 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 create in recommendation a department that recognizes the three technological revolutions that have occurred in defense since World War II, recognize therefore the nuclear space age in the structure of the department and it's functioning under that structure instead of having a department which in effect is traditional to the point of uh, being the same type and character department that we had in, uh, in World War II with minor modifications. We would eliminate as departmental st structure, the departmental structure of the Army and the Navy and the Air Force. We would preserve uh, the military services as separate organizations within the Department of Defense. Uh, this would do away, this plan, with the service secretaries, the service undersecretaries, and the service assistant secretaries. Fifteen of them now would do away with those, with those men. As I say, therefore, this plan would simply follow the logic of the present setup of uh, unified commands and would uh, concentrate the civilian control at one level uh, instead of two. In connection with the, uh, with the chain of command, the, uh, cha the, the chain uh, itself, there'd only be one major change. It would be from the uh, president, of course, always, to the secretary of defense, to the chairman of the joint staff, 